What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun. We are back working on Big Red. We got some things to do to this truck. So I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now. That is rebuilding the transmission. The transmission is really the last piece of this truck I haven't gone through and rebuilt. So I want to do it. No, I didn't blow it up. It is still working 100% but it is very dirty, very crusty looking. It's got oil and grease caked all over it and it's got 200 some thousand miles on it. So I figured it'd be a great time to go through it, clean it up, make it look brand new again and go through and do all the bearings, synchros, seals, everything. And it's gonna be a brand new tranny. So this thing should come out pretty quick, especially with the two post lift and the tranny jack I have. It makes this job a breeze. So let's get right after it, get this truck in the air and start ripping this tranny out. Right, we got that tranny mostly cleaned up, degreased and pressure washed. Now what I'm going to do is take this. So this is basically, they call it a sandblaster uh, for the pressure washer actually. You stick that on the end of the pressure washer. You stick this into a bucket here of just like regular play sand. This stuff's super cheap. It's like five bucks a 50 pound bag. But you stick that in there with the hose and it sucks up the sand and it kind of sandblasts and pressure washes at the same time. If you guys have seen my videos before, you've seen me do this before on a different tranny and it actually works really good. So we're gonna go at it with this now, see if we can bust the rest of that crap off of the tranny, get it all cleaned up before we start tearing it apart. There we go, got the tranny all cleaned up. I will say that job absolutely sucks. You can see this sand gets everywhere. I already washed the shop, it was all over the shop. It gets everywhere, all over you. I got it in my mouth, my ears, but at the end of the day, it is well worth it. Look how freaking good this looks. I didn't want to get too close up here and potentially get any sand in between. I kind of taped that up, but I just didn't want to get any sand inside of the transfer case, but 
we are looking 1000% better. So let's get this in the shop, get it dried up, and we can start stripping the tranny down. Just like that, we got tranny apart. So I'm gonna start swapping out bearings. This shaft here is very easy. There's one bearing here. This one slides off, there's no press. Um, as far as this one, we gotta press this bearing off. To get that bearing off, we gotta kinda clamp on the back side of that big gear. And then we can get that synchro. This synchro here, we should just be able to pull this collar off and then pull that off, get the synchro out. This one, I think we'll probably, there's a clip underneath this synchro and this hub here. We might have to pull off. I can't remember exactly on that one. And then the uh, input shaft, there's the main bearing there. Synchro just falls off of there. And then here's number five. Synchro just comes right out, no problem. So let's get to swapping these bearings and synchros out.
All right, guys, we are back in one piece, ready to go. So training went in nice and smooth. I also did a new master cylinder just because, just might as well freshen that up. When I built this thing, I did put a new slave in it. So figured might as well do that. Let's go bring this thing out and see if it shifts, see if it works. Hopefully everything will be good to go. shifts really good well guys made it home training is working 1000% quiet smooth shifts really good like I said a lot of people I've heard say that brand new synchros shift like really stiff really notchy these things are actually very smooth for right out of the gate not broken at all so we are good to go with this training I'm so happy looks so much better and should last another two, 300,000 miles. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you want to rebuild one of these trannies or a W56, a lot of other Toyota trannies, Cobra Transmissions is where I buy all my parts from. I'll have them linked down below. It's so cheap to rebuild these things. I've spent like 200, under $200 on bearing seals, gaskets, synchros, everything to rebuild the training. Under 200 bucks, you can't beat it. And with the now three videos I have of rebuilding these trannies, you should be able to do this job. It's not that bad. As long as you pay attention to what you're doing, all the little pieces, where they go, how they fit, really not that bad of a job. So we do have a couple other things to do to the truck to make it 100% perfect, but I honestly am contemplating selling the truck. If any of you guys are interested in the truck, I'll drop my email down below in the description box. Feel free to shoot me an offer. I'm not really sure what the thing is worth. Don't bother sending me an offer for like 10 grand. I'm not going to sell it for that. But if any of you guys are interested in it, feel free to shoot me an offer. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Go smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next one.